The zombies we know from fiction are ferocious flesh-eating post-humans. And while such stories have never come true, nature is full of disturbingly similar cases of zombification among plants and animals. Sometimes the parallels are striking. Some fungi, viruses and bacteria have evolved a spine-chilling way of being transmitted from one host to another. They turn their hosts into witless zombies. There is something particularly disconcerting about the idea that an animal's behavior could be drastically changed by an infection or parasite, but it is a phenomenon well established in nature. From facts only, meet the real-life zombies, some of which are even stranger than fiction. Zombie ants. One researcher once accounted to seeing remains of insects infected with a fungal parasite that controls their body and mind, making them crawl up plants where they stay put. When they die, their infectious fungal spores rain down on other ants below, spreading the contagion far and wide. While the zombies of fiction often spread the infection through a nasty bite, these ants fix themselves to plants in a similar way. Sometimes, they grip on with their jaws in a death lock. They then die with that horrifying clench intact. Zombie parasites. In the insect world, there are lots of examples of this. Take, for instance, the parasitoid wasp Leptapentels, which lays its eggs in the body of caterpillars. When the eggs hatch, the wasp larvae feed on the host caterpillar's bodily fluids before eating their way out and forming a cocoon nearby. But the caterpillar, though damaged by this process, is still alive and remains in position as a sort of zombie bouncer that aggressively knocks away beetles that come near to and might prey on the cocoons. Researchers studying this have found that, with a zombie caterpillar guard in place, the number of predators approaching the cocoons can be halved, an obvious advantage for survival. Sex Zombies in March 2016, Bruce Waldman at Seoul National University and his student, Duke Neman, published evidence for an extraordinary behavioral manipulation caused by a pathogenic fungus, Botrachochytrium dendrobatidis. The fungus is a well-known threat to many frog species, but Japanese tree frogs in Asia do not seem to be dying off so suddenly when a population is infected. When Waldman listened to the mating calls of 42 male tree frogs, they realized that the nine that were infected with Patrachichitrium dendrobatidis had calls that were faster and longer, making them more attractive to potential mates. Matt Fisher says the amphibians may essentially have been turned into sex zombies, whose subsequent interactions with mates only increase the likelihood of the fungus spreading further. Mutant Zombie Plants A mechanism by which one group of bacteria, phytoplasma, transform helpless plants into zombies was discovered. The bacteria in question need to be spread by insects that feed on plant sap, for example leafhoppers. But in order to attract these vehicles of contagion, infected plants must first be bent to the bacteria's will. The bacteria's invasive proteins displace the plant's own ones to the extent that the infected plant begins to transform itself. Flowers on the plant begin to morph into green flowers, essentially becoming leaves. The infection makes them more attractive to the insects that will pick up the bacteria and carry them to new plant hosts. The zombie plants are a particularly interesting example because the plant itself does not ultimately die as a result of the infection. It has simply been transformed into a useful vehicle for furthering contagion. Fortunately humans are not existentially threatened by these pathogens. The same cannot be said for many insects and other organisms. However, in forests all over the world, zombie hosts are already out there, their minds and bodies twisted under the spell of spectacular parasites. From facts only, that's it for today.